I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know, but you know what? Your girl had a weekend, okay? But that doesn't stop the content, so I, I do what I had to do. You don't have to look at me like this for a little minute for, for this video, okay? But y'all know what it is when I start getting tagged on things in social media. It's either time for me to bring you some news or bring you an update on something. So if you guys remember, I want to say 20, 20, 20, what am I saying? 2020. Um, I did a downfall video on Victoria's Secret and it's, you know, it followed the usual, like this is what's happening, this is where they went left and is it possible for them to have a comeback? Uh, well, it appears Victoria's Secret is now really rolling through trying to have this comeback. I was getting tagged in this advertisement that they put out a week ago, about a week ago. Um, I've seen it now on Twitter and TikTok. I haven't seen it on Instagram yet. And the caption of it says, I don't know if I can put the actual ad in here because of copyright, you know, when brands feel some type of way about whatever you're saying about them, they real quick strike you. But if you haven't seen it yet, I feel like you will because they are pushing this uh, advertisement. But the caption says, think you know us? Meet the new Victoria's Secret. And basically the rebrand, the comeback from for Victoria's Secret, and I've seen some articles talking about it, is going to be that they are going from, you know, sexy, this is what a woman is supposed to look like, and this is how you feel feminine and all that stuff, right? They are moving away from that, and they are now moving towards real women, and real women look like this, and they look like that, and they can be this, and they can be that, right? I feel like we've seen that before um, with Dove. Was it Dove, if you guys remember? They had a campaign of real women, and then I don't know if you guys remember what happened there, but we'll get into that. So that is the caption of the advertisement. Oh, I forgot I still have this in my bad, y'all. Um, that is the caption and the actual video. I saw a woman in a wheelchair. I saw, um, you know, women of different sizes. There are plus size women in there, women of different skin tones, um, different hair textures. Did I see natural hair in there on a black woman? I don't remember. Um, they did uh, a while ago hire a trans woman to be their first uh, trans woman model. Let me tell you some more things they've incorporated in this rebrand. Um, Les Wexner, who was the longtime CEO and founder of L Brands, uh, left the company. Um, they announced they would start selling maternity bras. The brand launched its new initiative, the VS Collective, with body positive role models from various industries. Um, they announced they would start displaying curvy mannequins in the store nationwide and expand representation on its website to include a variety of body types, modeling its products. And the brand released a line of mastectomy bras, also a first for the company. If you don't know mastectomy, it's um, uh, the surgery. If you have breast cancer, uh, if you get, you know, boobs removed or implanted stuff like that there's like a special bra for that oh they also canceled the angel show if you guys remember that and i think that's the last change that i see and it's being described as instead of angels real people seem to be the brand's focus now um i saw one that said they're leaving uh the patriarchy sense of what it means to be a woman and they're going to use real women now that is that seems to be the the main focus of this rebrand is we are going to make the brand more attractive to the actual people who will be purchasing it, right? We're not gonna have this unattainable sense or idea of what you need to look like if you wanna wear, wear Victoria's Secret. That's not the first time we've seen a rebrand like that. The thing is, will this rebrand work for Victoria's Secret? Now, if you guys remember what I was saying about Dove, when they came out with their Real Bodies, Real Women campaign, there was actually pushback to that because what we have found with some things paying attention to marketing and advertising is people complain or pe people say, let me not use complain, people say that they want to see real bodies and they want to see real this and real that until you actually show them that realness and then you realize like a lot of people actually don't like seeing that. A lot of people actually like the fantasy that's being sold to them in advertising and marketing because when they came out with that campaign, um, 
a lot of the response was why do they look like that why do the models look like that how is it supposed to be appealing to consumers in an advertisement and it sounds crazy doesn't it it sounds crazy to say how is seeing normal people that you see on the street and you know that that are your friends that are your co-workers that are your family members how is that bad to see in advertising but that's that's a thing in advertising that people don't like that people want you to sell them a dream people want to see things in advertisements that make them think well if i buy my money well i can live like that i can look like that i can achieve this i can achieve that so i've already seen some of that with uh this victoria's secret rebrand and actually um back around that time when uh if you guys remember the nikita dragon thing because they had come out and said that trans women can't be a part of the victoria's secret angels or part of their marketing because they don't sell the fantasy of you know like a victoria's secret angel and then nikita dragon came out and she posted a video showing that they can uh sell the fantasy and stuff like that around that time when people were saying they want to see more you know realness from victoria's secret there were a lot of people who were like no i don't want to see that i don't want to see this that and the third i don't want to see you know this type of woman uh modeling lingerie i don't want to see this i don't want to see that i'm already seeing that with this rebrand um looking in the comments there are this is not making me want to buy anything this is not doing this, this is not doing that so in the sense of will this comeback work for them there is going to be that backlash just because it's been shown that there are people who do not want that type of realness being advertised to them but do i think this re this uh comeback will work for them to an extent yeah yeah i actually I actually do um the first reason i see it working for them now of course a lot of people are going to see this rebrand are going to see all this change and whatnot and the first thing you're going to say is this is pandering that you're doing this because the company was going south you know they were filing for bankruptcy people had stopped shopping there this is pandering this is pandering which you're most likely right but this is going to work because that's really all it takes for some people to to hop back on board after a brand you know disappoints them um if you really pay attention this is why the whole like cancel culture and people saying it doesn't exist it really doesn't take much for a lot of brands to rebrand and be back in people's good graces so that that little showing real bodies and show i promise you you go in the comments right now you're going to see people who were like yes finally this is what we wanted from you this is what we wanted you to do kudos kudos what, what's the word kudos kudos k-u-d-o you know what i'm trying to say um to y'all on on listening and giving people what they want people are absolutely positively going to do that okay so that was enough for some people to go back or keep giving victoria's secret a chance another reason that this comeback will probably work for them they're the demographic that they never lost there's a demographic that never cared about the fact that people were upset or people were this or people were that about it so for that demographic that's not going to bother them and that demographic is probably going to be the ones who said well why are you guys still complaining you're never happy about anything you said you wanted real bodies now they're giving you real bodies if anything i give them even more pats on the back because if it was me i wouldn't even listen to you guys complaining about this that and the third so the, they had that demographic that was always going to continue supporting them, right? And another reason why this probably will work for Victoria's Secret, well, you also keep in mind the people who like never really paid attention that much because we always got to remember outside of this online bubble and people who are so into social media, there's a, there's a bubble out there who don't know about this, who don't care about that. So they are just going to see the rebrand and again, give them the pets on the back but also what i've noticed and if you if you've been you know keeping up with some of the videos i've done on other brands fast fashion is it's it's going through a little bit right now fast fashion you know years ago when people really kind of started shying away from shopping in store fast fashion was fast you know it can you can buy it at home you don't have to go in store you can return things all that other stuff you saw what happened with misguided um, you know, uh, brands like Fashion Nova, the last few years have been getting like, I don't want to shop at Fashion Nova, you know, for a whole bunch of different reasons. But also, I don't know if you guys have seen with like Zara, they're going to be charging for online returns now. I think it's like $3.60 or something like that to return, or maybe it's like 10% 
of a restock fee if you try to return things that you bought from Zara online. With small stuff like that happening, I'm noticing like there's there's the slow problem building up with fast fashion and people are going back to shopping in store. I actually saw that as one of the reasons that, you know, Misguided is having the problems that it's having. People are going back to shopping in store. Um, and you always notice there's like a trend where things come and go and they come back, right? So Blockbuster and all that stuff went out of business because Netflix came up and now, you know, I can I can watch this movie and I can watch that movie and this is so, so, you know, simple and whatnot. But now, here we are, years later, people are tired of Netflix. They're tired of having to have 18 different subscriptions to watch different things. And they're like, well, damn, I kind of want to go back to just watching movies in movie theaters or, you know, renting a movie. For, like, it's crazy how, you know, now people are like, oh, kind of want to go back to that right I'm kind of over Netflix um same thing with clothing you know this type of clothing was in and then something else will come back and then you notice the same type of clothing is back in the same thing is kind of happening right now with uh how you shop so in-store shopping and then you know at home online shopping was the thing and now people are kind of over online shopping and they want to go back to in-store shopping so because they are in a time right now where in-store shopping and Victoria's Secret was very popular for you know the aesthetic of the store and you know being Victoria's Secret using the other stuff that they're using for this rebrand yeah I can actually see there being a comeback and people acting like all the other stuff that happened with Victoria's Secret never happened now will it be enough for them to be you know back on that like top lingerie you're just that girl if you're shopping Victoria's Secret maybe I don't think so but I also never say never in these type of videos maybe but do I see it coming to a point where you know it, it, again just kind of like blind eye to everything else that happened with Victoria's Secret in the past yeah because like I said um uh, again with the whole like cancel culture doesn't actually happen and whatnot um this rebrand of you know we're gonna include basically like every type of woman and whatnot we're gonna include this we're gonna include that it'll be enough for people to be like, oh, you know, I kind of don't, I didn't, I didn't see everything that happened in the past, you know, as long as I can get my seven for 35, that's another thing, you know, some of the pricing on fast fashion and other, like their competitors and whatnot, it's giving, uh, you know, that seven for 35 be looking a little nice when you think about it, it's like seven underwear for 35. Now, do I think a lot of this is genuine? No, but I don't think a lot of business practices are genuine. I feel like I'd, I'd be trying to tell y'all that in these videos that like a lot of this is just, we need to sell something and we need to make the customer happy like they they didn't like the way that we are running the business before but well, we're gonna rebrand we're gonna do this we're gonna do that that's pretty much what it is do i think it's gonna work for them yeah it probably will but that is it for this little update i will try to include like i guess pictures and whatnot so you guys can get a visual of what victoria's secret is uh has rebranded as like i said i don't know if i can include the actual like video ad for it you know what I also noticed which is why I say like do I think this stuff is genuine no but do you have to do it so you can continue selling your product and stay in business yes I saw the ad on TikTok and you know TikTok is the app that you go on when you're trying to get into that new crowd the crowd that doesn't know your business that doesn't know your past scandals and all that stuff I saw the ad on TikTok and then I went to click on the comments and they turned the comments off So yeah, y'all, that is my little update on Victoria's Secret. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the rebrand. Um, if you are going to give Victoria's Secret another chance, if you never stop shopping at Victoria's Secret, let me know all your thoughts down below. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.